Hi, my name is Lubos and I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Palp OS3 plugin for managing OS3 content. In the beginning, I will start with the installation, which basically means downloading a Palp image and then running the corresponding container. After that, we will try to manually create some OS3 repositories with a bunch of commits and then upload them to Pulp. And finally, we will try to distribute Pulp repositories in order to enable our clients to consume them. So, let me first tell, start with the, with the installation. As you can see on this page, we have got Pulp in one container, which is basically a container that has all the required services and servers in order to run Pulp. So for instance, there is included Postgres SQL database server, Redis server, and stuff like that. Uh, this container is usually used for development or when you want to try Pulp out. In order to use the Pulp in production, and to scale it better, you can use podman compose command and different repositories to download the image. So for instance, with this podman compose, these services like Redis server or database server are run in a separate containers, so then they can be scaled further. So let me begin with the installation as we already had. I will try to make new working directory. And then I will create a bunch of directories within it. Then I will create a settings file, which is used for telling the pulp what should be the content, host name, whether the authentication should be disabled, and so on. Then we will proceed to running the container. In order to determine whether we are running SE Linux or not, we can run sudo get enforce. And in this particular case, I am running the SE Linux, so I will use this command to boot up the container. Okay, so the container is up and running, and we might also try to follow the locks of the pulp container, if there are any. Okay, as you can see, the Postgres server is now running, and we will need to wait a couple of more seconds to apply the migrations and boot up all the required services. It might take a couple of seconds or minutes. Yes, you can see it's running right now. And also, I want to mention that within these directories, there are also stored uh, pulp configurations or pulp artifacts or different settings for different services, like for Postgres. Okay, database was already migrated and we can now access the pulp even through the browser.
as you can see there are also a bunch of plugins installed and there is also Power Voice 3. So right now if we log in, well let me first configure the uh, manager's password which can be done by running this command and I will set it to password. Cool. Okay, let me log in. I'm in. And if I want to access repositories within the OS3 plugin, repository, sorry, I got a typo here. Yeah, there are zero repositories. If we want to do this from the command line, we can install the PALP CLI OS3 package. So let me create a new virtual environment. Forgot the name. Like this. And now let me configure the CLI with this command config create override. And this is where the configuration is stored. And as you can see, we are running on port 8080. So I'm going to change the protocol and port and configure the username and password. And now if I run PowerPoint 3 repository list, the CLI will return exactly the same response as we have right here. Okay, so now we can begin with building uh, OS3 repositories and then uploading it, them to Pulp. So let me run these simple OS3 commands like repo rip1 init mod archive. We can create a new, let's say, directory test and add a new file it and then we can commit this file to that repository mm -hmm. commit branch full and test okay and if we run three test one sorry repo one we will see that we have a OS3 repository with one commit and it one ref. Okay, and if we want to upload this repository, we can create a tarball, which basically mimics the behavior of image builder well, where we build an image and download it from the server and then upload it to pulp. So let me run this command to create a tarball. Okay, and now if I want to upload it to pulp, I will just run pulp OS3 repository import all. Let me see what what options I should use. Okay, there should be file name which is repo.tar, then the name of a repository which we didn't create and we will do that right now so sorry repository create name let's call it repo and you can see that if we list the repositories there is the repository which we created cool so let me run it once again repo uh, repository name which is the name of this repository repo one and I will also use the variables option to see which APL calls are being executed executed against pulp. Okay. 
as you can see, there are a couple of HTTP calls run and in the end we created a new repository version with a with content that we uploaded. So if we want to distribute this content, we will create a distribution name, I don't know, published repo. Base path is basically the name where the repository could be accessed, accessed by customers. So let's call it also published repo. And then we will reference the corresponding repository, which is called repo right here. Cool. Okay, we have distributed the repository, and you can see that there are a bunch of objects and refs. Cool. Now, if we want to create another repository on top of this one, or let's say it would be better to say another commit on top of this one, we would we can mimic this behavior by creating another repository. Uh, mode archive and let me uh, create another file test two with test two let, and I will commit it repo repo two in it uh, commit to the same branch called full and I will set the parent commit to the commit that was created before which is this exactly one this f9 blah blah this one that is already distributed and visible to clients okay wait sorry Cool. And now again, we are going to create a tarball out of this out of this repository and publish it, or upload it, or import it to pulp. Two tar. And now we are going to upload it to pulp with import commits, use different repository, repo to, and we will also specify the ref, which is full in this case as well. Okay, it will run some commands and if we refresh the web page, we can see that more objects were added, new commit was added, and that commit began with 31, it's there. And also, in addition to that, static deltas were computed between these two last commits. Okay, and now I will show you how to pull this repository from pulp. So we will do again, mode archive, OS3, <coughs> OS3 repo, TTT, remote, no GPG verify. Pulp current currently doesn't support GPG signing or verification. So at this moment, we will disable, disable the verification on the client side. We'll create a new remote and afterwards, afterwards we will pull this whole repository 
locally. Let me specify the URL. Cool. Full mirror pop S3. That's the name of the remote, and we will specify the ref that is available right here. And it's called full. And also we can specify or declare the depth of comments that should be pulled locally. Hmm. with one e. Sorry. Okay, and if we want run three for this repository, we will see that there are two commits included. So basically, we were able to pull the repository. So it's valid and it's working. Now, if we want to additionally compute static delta, just to make sure, we can run report t static delta um, generate and forgot about the options. We will pass there a to commit and from commit. And before that, I will run this to see what commits do we have. So we have one parent commit and one child commit. And we can uh, build the static data locally if you want to. Delta generate from, from parent commit to the latest commit referenced by the ref and voila if we run this there's static data co delta computed and it should be within the same directory structure yes it is and that's all for this demo what we did we downloaded an image with pulp plugins then we initialize the CLI to communicate with the pub instance and then we created and uploaded two commits into a PowerBoyst repository and afterwards and finally we consumed these commits through the OS3 utility. Thank you for watching.